Hey Shug, it's your favorite bald headed Estee Taj Mahali and this is a place for beauty bosses and skin enthusiasts and I am talking to you all today about textured skin, textured skin honey, textured skin. So I get tons of questions about how to reduce texture or minimize pore size. Or Taj, I just want to be a glazed donut. How can I be the best glazed donut that I can be? And I'm here to get you started. I got you, sis. We're going to go ahead and get into these tips. Now, I will say the culprit of texture within the skin is usually sebaceous filaments. If you're not familiar with what a sebaceous filament is, is, you know, just take some time right now and just rub across your nose. You know how you think that you got those blackheads right there? Oh, but it is not a blackhead. More than likely, you might have a couple of blackheads, maybe. But these guys are sebaceous filaments. They're not open comedones. They're not blackheads. They're sebaceous filaments. And that's just a buildup of oil deposits that have been sitting there due to lack of proper removal whenever we are cleansing or maybe we need a little bit more oomph in our regimen to help with exfoliating and these guys are excellent at helping with management for oil as well as to help you make sure you get that glazed donuts glow that the girls are wanting to achieve okay period all right <laughs> tip number one using a salicylic acid based cleanser I have a love-hate relationship with salicylic. I like my salicylic in the form of a cleanser. Why, Taj? I just feel like out of all the actors that you can keep on your skin overnight, throughout the day, throughout the evening, salicylic is just not higher ranking on that list. It can be a bit drying since it is a beta hydroxy acid to work below the skin and it's a pretty effective acid. Great, wonderful, right? However, I love it in the form of a cleanser because you get your 60 second cleanse on, you remove the things, you spend your quality time in your nose and the crevices and your forehead along the jawline and the areas where you had to wear your mask at all day, right? You do your things, you're doing your things, you're doing your topotment, you're doing all the things. You do this, you do that, right? Okay, salicylic acid is a oil loving active ingredient. So, either way, I love this guy this is one of our top selling ones it also has glycolic in it you guys know how it feels like glycolic acid it's like oh, oh my god like it's amazing how could you not love glycolic acid which i got into a, a minor spat with someone about that in the comments recently and i just thought that they were just so uneducated and rude but still i rise <laughs> salicylic acid is going to be in this guy this guy smells amazing this cleanser feels extremely luxurious on the face. It's a gel consistency, but you don't get the cheap gel consistency you get with, okay, and I'm no shade, no tea, with like a lot of drugstore cleansers. You know, certain drugstore cleansers feel very watered down. This guy does not. It gives a luxurious, not a lather, but a luxurious frothiness. And I quickly, I enjoy this. The um, consistency reminds me similar to the Fenty Total Cleanser after the Fenty Total Cleanser has been um, rubbed in and you feel the consistency. It, it feels very luxurious. It's a whole experience. I actually think I'm going to use this tonight because I am too experiencing a little bit of texture around my nose just because I've been out a little bit more um, since the pandemic began so I'm wearing my mask a whole lot more than I'm used to. Usually after I'm done with work I throw it off. I go home. And I enjoy the air, unfiltered, raw. But um, one of my favorite guys right here. This is a good. Skin Trip is just an excellent brand in general. I will say, um, you won't have to use this necessarily every day. Using this every other day is excellent. I love to use my active cleansers on my A day of my skincare, and then I have what's considered a B day, which I use a regular, basic, regular day, either cream cleanser or just a non-active gel cleanser. Just something that can give my skin just a second. Just fuck up because sometimes overdoing it with, this is 4% of actives, that can be a bit harsh on the skin. But, nevertheless, link in below at my Holly Dash Spa to pick up this guy. Number two. <laughs> oh, just see. It's not buffering, I just paused. Okay. Is Niacinamide. I love Niacinamide. I 
love Naya Cinema. I love Naya Cinema. Naya Cinema is one of those umbrella ingredients that helps with reducing hyperpigmentation, overall brightening of the skin, as well as refine. It, it claims to refine pore size, eh, but it does help with skin texture rather. Um, I've noticed that my clients who have began using niacinamide, I've noticed that when it comes to extraction time for the part of their service, there's nowhere near as much that we need to extract, which is amazing because it's not an exfoliant. It also just helps to balance out oil production. So unfortunately due to our genetics that's going to be determined whether or not just by that. So some people have more active and bigger oil glands therefore you're going to be resulting in oilier skin. Some people tend to have androgen levels that are higher. May not be in your bloodstream but maybe actually there's the theory that it is between your skin and your epidermis and your dermis where it's causing excessive oil production and all we can do is try to manage it. So you have your beta hydroxy acid, your salicylic base cleanser that you're using, using a niacinamide serum. This is the guy that I like to keep on the skin. Even though, yes, niacinamide cleansers are cool, I, this is the ingredient that I love so much, I want to keep this on morning and day. It's not gonna be super photosensitized due to you using this. It's not one of those guys that create sensitivity from the sun. So I use twice a day. And I love it because it's more on the gentle end, like with the azalics and whatnot. So with the azalic acid, it's a very gentle active that you can use multiple times in your routine. If you want to use it in a nice in my toner base, Good Molecules has one as well. Um, that's a niacinamide toner. Paula's Choice has a pore reducing toner with niacinamide in it. I love this guy. My top three, top three are the Good Molecules. I like the inky list one a little bit more just because I enjoy the formulation a little bit better as well. It comes in a, um, not a dark bottle, but it's a more opaque bottle. I'm not a huge fan of glass bottles. They work, they do their job, and I don't believe, like I said, it's not a photosynthesized ingredient. I just prefer dark bottles. Naturium also has a great amount of products with niacinamide. They have a niacinamide cleanser, they have a niacinamide jelly moisturizer, and I think they have a serum as well. They are doing the things with the niacinamide. I'm a fan. Link in the bio below if you want to tap into the... Nice and mild. <laughs> okay, number three, retinol. Vitamin A is an excellent exfoliant to help with cellular turnover rate, speeding it up. As we get older, it slows down. Hint, have you noticed when you get a cut, it takes a little bit longer than it did when you were a child. You get a cut on Tuesday by Friday afternoon, it's already a scar, right? Now, at the big age of whatever your age is, you notice that it takes a long time. Like, for instance, I got cut at the, oh, ooh, I'm not flicking you off, but I got cut <laughs> at the nail salon um, the other week when I was just getting a manicure before a client just to keep these guys, you know, nice and tight and right. And I literally, it's been, it'll be six days tomorrow and it's just starting to like really heal all the way. Like I can tell like this is almost done healing. So that being said, this can also help with just regulating the pores, making sure that the cellular turnover is regular. Um, Five that's redundant. But either way, my guy, my ride or die till we till the wheels fall off. I'm writing him when he goes to jail. He's my man, even when he has a baby on me. Glycolic red no peel <laughs> from skin script. I'm gonna probably talk about these in every single video because hyperpigmentation and clogged pores are the cornerstone of this channel, as well as the cornerstone of my clientele base. So these guys are amazing. It has glycolic acid in here, which is excellent because it's a very itty bitty molecular structure product. Retinol is gonna help with the speed it over of, uh, as acting as an exfoliant, as well as it has some arbutin in here, which helps brightening, as well as kojic acid, another just thing out there to help with brightening, even though it's not about brightening. But these are my favorites. I love these. Cut these guys in half, because if you are someone who may not necessarily need, let's say you know your oily spots, you know where your texture resides, and it's not necessarily, and you know maybe you have dry cheeks, no texture in your cheeks, but your forehead, your nose, and your chin is where you really see the oil deposits build up. Cut it in half, focus it on these areas. There's no reason to put it all over if you don't have to. If you don't have to, then no. If you don't have any hyperpigmentation or anything that you really feel like you need to address right here, then don't. Don't do it. If you realize that your nose is your problem there, you just can't stand having texture on your nose, then you just use it on your nose. Cut it in quadrants. So, I love this guy. 
two times a week you can build yourself up to three times a week but i don't recommend it when you're first starting with this because vitamin a retinol can be a little bit of a harsher ingredient but these guys right here we can't keep these on the shelves these are my tips for textured skin i really believe that when it all boils down to it going to see a licensed esthetician to help with extractions pointing you in the right direction for the proper products that aren't drying your skin out which in turn could be overstimulating your oil glands which in turn can lead to sebaceous filaments which in turn can lead in block pores as well as you know open comedones as well as uh, what do they call blackheads those guys need, probably need to be manually extracted and getting you a nice good deep cleanse or a nice thorough extraction that does not cause scarring would be awesome awesome for getting you to the place you want to get as far as when it comes to texture i had a client last week who i i hadn't seen her in a year and after we get finished doing our enzyme you can see the dead skin you can literally see it it's almost kind of gummy and translucent and it's amazing i mean her skin was a completely different texture whenever we got done doing her extractions it it's that girl enzymes are great too okay if you watch all the way to the end of this video i have a nugget for you pineapple enzyme bromelain so if you look on the good molecules website in the link below um there are some oh they have what's called the pineapple enzyme powder which is a exfoliant which eats away at the top layer of dead skin excellent at helping to loosen up those dead skin cells too and if you want to kind of prep yourself before you go to see an esthetician and make your extractions a little bit more comfortable and more doable i guess more tolerable using something like that and using something like this is excellent for that so pineapple exfoliating powder don't tell her i didn't do nothing for you. don't ever say i ain't never do nothing for you don't ever say i didn't i put you on the game here i put you on the game there so don't say i didn't say so so that being said those are my tips you guys make sure you like this video so someone like you can find someone like me and please visit www.maholly-spa.com if you're in the area so you can get booked for an appointment my multicultural skin specialist joelle jam and maria are here to help do facials for you also, we have products on there that can help you get you to your skin goals. Follow us on IG at Mahali Spa, as well as my personal one at Taj.Mahali for skincare nuggets. You're going to love it there because I've hired some people to help with the beautifulness and um, me being able to kind of be more consistent in educating you guys and give you some extra nuggets on top of the nuggets you get here, girl. These are like the Chick-fil-A nugget. The ones on my Instagram are like the spicy Wendy's nuggets. So you like, you know, they're both really good. They're just different. Okay, goodbye you guys. I'm tired and delirious. Make sure you subscribe.